What's going on, Brews? Welcome to the first ever, probably last ever, completely unedited, I might, I'll throw some music in there for you, completely unedited, hottest cards of the week. And this is not just any hottest cards of the week. Think of this as a end of year special. That's right. This week's hottest cards of the week, we are going over the 30 most popular, most sought after, most chased, most FOMO'd cards in the TCG, in the hobby, right now. The 30 most desirable cards from a collector's standpoint that you can possibly imagine in this video. And also the reason we're doing it, they all just so happen to be pretty much the hottest cards of the week. I've said it a lot and I'm gonna say it again. When Pokemon booms, starts the boom, the first sign that it is a real boom is all the most popular, the creme de la creme, the best of the best, start to run. This video is 30 cards that over the last year, 25, guys, there's five alt arts, five alt arts, this is hottest cards of the week, and yes, it is a special, but there are five specific alt arts that are also going up, we'll cover those. The remaining 25 cards are all Scarlet and Violet Era cards from SIRs, Hyper Rares, IRs, but they are, without a doubt, if you have been here all along over the last year and a half, and you have been into the Scarlet and Violet era, and you have seen things unfold as they have, I think you'd be hard pressed to disagree with me. I think this is literally the 30 most popular cards. Some of them are, you know, one's 500, one's 300, one's 200. What I think the cheapest card is maybe 50, 40 bucks right now. But hands down, these are the cards everybody is after. All right. So, like I said, I'm not going to cut anything. We're going to get right into that. And uh, yeah, real quick, before we get into the 30 basically hottest cards in the entire year. And again, I'm not kidding. If any of the 30 cards you disagree with, please tell me which cards you would pull out and which cards you would put in. But yeah, you know, I do this week in and week out for six straight months. And for my money, these 30 cards are the 30 cards that everyone's freaking out about and everybody wants. All right. So first of all, uh, Derpy Q winner, the Quagsire Q. This beautiful, beautiful Quagsire Q 101 Surging Sparks Edition. Uh, it's going to Hammer. Hammer, 3515. I'll edit in the comment. Okay, Hammer, there's your comment. There you are. Hammer, hit me up on IG or email me to claim your Quagsire Q. All right, guys. Let's get into this. Like I said, no editing, so I need to make sure I'm concise and tight. All right, here we go. Let's do this. So... Like I said, we're gonna start off with the alt arts, except I did not say, we're gonna just quickly glance over where things are at with Surging Sparks right now. And by right now, guys, look, if you watch this hottest week, hottest cards of the week, like right when it airs, that, trust me, I recorded it an hour ago. West Coast time, it is 8.20 p.m. My time, Friday night, I'm planning on uploading this immediately. Part of the reason I'm not editing. All right, but here we go. So these are very up-to-date prices right now, Friday night. Pikachu is all the way down to five, all the way down to 515. Latias, 200. The hyper rare Pikachu, $120. The amount of people just over the last week who have seen this card in person and all they ever say is, I love the gold Pikachu. I need to have the gold Pikachu. I've never seen so many people just just FOMO over a hyper rare. Like this gold Pikachu. It's, what it start at, You know what? You know, who cares? Who cares? We'll look at it later. All right. Let, let's get in. Let's knock these these alt arts out right now. Here we go. The five biggest, baddest alt arts going up also because they are hot. Here it is. Umbreon VMAX. $1,373. On the one month, pretty much at exactly 1000 That is 35% gain on a four digit card the tcg is booming when moonbrion goes from 1000 to 1400 in one month i'm sorry the tcg is booming okay all right let's move it on 
to baby Ray Ray. Where'd you go, Ray Ray? Right here, here he is. Rayquaza. So Rayquaza on the one month, or three month. Uh, let's go to the one month. No, let's go back to the three month. So that, by the way, is just a technical error. There's no way a card sold for zero. But uh, so on three month, we got 380. We go all the way up to 460. That's 21% on the three month. Let's go ahead and see the, the sword and shield pop. And now we see that recovery right there. So um, I'm not going to lie. Most, like three quarters of the alt arts are still kind of lying pretty dormant. Whereas these guys are really starting to make, a, you know, up, up trending moves. All right. It's so card number four. That means we've got 26 cards left. And keep in mind, guys, all these cards, including these five alt arts, all 30 of these are the most desirable, most popular, just most badass modern Pokemon cards you can get your hands on right now. Okay, so Tina... On the three month, Tina, let's zoom out just a little. Tina went as low as $326. But look at Tina now. Tina is almost $400, guys. $350 to $388 on the one month. All right, here we go. Next altar. Dun, 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 dun. Gengar. All right, so from Fusion Strike, Gengar. Look at that. That's a three month chart. Let's go to this. So, three month, we got $300 to 370 not as impressive, okay? On the one month, 315 to 365. I want to see that pop and fizzle. <clears throat> there it is. So we hit the high of a little over 400, and we are at 370. So while, yes, this is an alt art sword and shield bubble, this is an excellent recovery. Absolutely. Absolutely excellent looking recovery. Okay, next, and this is the final alt art. By the way, the scan of this Glaceon VMAX, like, on TCG Player is so good. Like, this card looks so clean in this scan. All right, so Glaceon, this is a newer one to start moving, finally. So it's on the three-month. Let's zoom out just a little. Make sure we get a clear view. So you see it's about 100, 120, 130, 140. It shoots all the way up to over 300. goes all the way down to 200. And now we are sitting pretty at 235 with very... Let's zoom in. Zoom in. That's something. We got something there. And again, most of the other ones, like a lot of your Chilling Rain alt arts, a lot of the you know less desirable ones, they're not really moving. They're just kind of plateauing. All right. Oh wait, we do have one more. All right. So the final one. This was the only B, which are slightly, slightly you know, well, definitely harder to pull or easier to pull than the B maxes, obviously. Um, but yeah. So as far as Bs go, this is really the only V making moves. Finally, I'm gonna zoom out a little because it did get pretty darn low. Like Charizard hit, yeah, I remember, just a couple months ago. This was a best deal banger. This was a best deal banger, guys. Watch this series every Friday night. Every Friday night, I try to give you a best deal banger, and I said buying this card between, what did I say, 115 and 125? I don't know if you'll ever get a chance. And I'm just now realizing that, uh, yeah, it's done pretty darn well since I said that. <laughs> All right, so yeah, but anyway, one, 133. We're at 157. That's almost 20% on the one month. Four chars RV. Okay. Now, guys. Here it is. The next 25 cards are hands down the most popular 25 cards of the era. The Scarlet and Violet era. I kind of put them in order based on price from most expensive to least expensive. But I also grouped IRs together. I grouped promos together. I kind of grouped all the SIRs together. But in general, I kind of segue it from most expensive to least expensive. Uh, I think I even picked out two waifus. We're going to end with two waifus. All right, so right at the top, immediate shows up, dominates, Pikachu SIR. So as we all know, got up to over 600. Uh, I'm not even going to talk about that first PSA 10 auction. What, it sold for 3,200 essentially when it was all said and done after all the, the wacky craziness. But yeah, so we hit a high of, let's just call it 600, 596. Now we're down to five, five, you know, 515. Like, there's no way charts don't go straight up. They always go down. So let's not let's not act like this is a big deal. Let's not act like, oh, surging. Like Danny Phantom made a video. He's like, oh, let the, the prices crash. Like, I don't know, man. We might not get that huge. Like, the Melodics leveled out at 80 already. Like, I'm just saying. And Pikachu Hyper's gone up. I'm just saying, like, this is nothing. 
going from 600 to 516. If it goes all the way down to 400 really quick, I think that would be way more of a something to worry about. Uh, but 600 to 516, I I don't know. You know, that's fine. It's 500 freaking dollars. All right, so Laddie asked the other uh, new, brand new SIR. So there's actually going to be three total Surging Sparks cards, I believe, that are on this list of this 25 or 30 super duper most, you know, FOMO 100% cards. So we have $204 for Laddie S. This is also held very firm over the $200 mark. Because 192, it very, I don't even barely remember seeing it there. It was like at one, okay, it was like here for a day. And then it's already cracked over 200. I feel very confident this Latias could hold this. You know, maybe it goes down to 180. But the thing is, there are so many SIRs we're about to get into that have gone up into this 160, 180. Well, not so many, a couple of them. And this could fit right in that little grouping with those other SIRs that aren't Greninja, that aren't Pikachu, but a little, you know, a pack of like three, three, four, and five that are all in that lower, right around that $200 range. And I could see this staying. I could absolutely see this laddie ass staying here, around here. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, so Greedy Ninja. This is not Splatoon Greninja. This is Greedy Ninja. Stop calling it Splatoon Ninja. Okay, so uh, Greedy Ninja on the one month was from 278 up to, yeah, about 278, 279, uh, up to 320, 15%. And as most of us know, since it wasn't that long ago, it came out of the gates at 130, and then it rather quickly hopped, <laughs> no pun intended, its way all the way up to $320. Twilight Masquerade has performed exceptionally well since release, and almost exceptionally well quietly, whereas other sets that do well kind of abruptly, it just comes in massive waves. Twilight Masquerade is just kind of... And next thing you know, people aren't hating on it, and they're talking about, yeah, it's actually like one of the best trainer sets ever if you like trainers. And yeah, those Ogre Pond, even the Hearth Flame, that that crimson and silver, it's a $14 SIR. It's a Pokemon nobody cares about, but the red and silver, you know, ugh, I love it. It, it. I actually like, I love looking at my Twilight Masquerade Master Set. All right, so Mew, Mew EX, Pal Palane Phase. God, it's the amount of things that change in just a week or two. Because, God, you know, do this every week. And it's just, this massive reset I'm doing on this weekly series is so needed. Because next week, we're wiping the slate clean. We're starting the recap board with these cards. We'll knock them off from there. But it's just, things are getting out of hand. There's just too much hype. Cards just exploding in price. So you're talking from one week to the next. A card going from $90 where it sat forever forever it sat at 85.90 this is not normal this is a massive explosion this is part of the reason i'm resetting the recap board <laughs> we're starting over and we're doing a special because all the most popular cards are performing astronomically well right now bubble mew and again guys i should have reiterated this at the beginning these are not only the 30 most popular cards just in general that everyone wants, that everyone's talking about, that everyone's got to have. These are the 30 cards I think have the best chance of being remembered two years, three years, five years down the road. Like, obviously not all these cards are going to maintain their desirability, but, you know, save the glory of Team Rockets, the trainers, the last year. Whatever comes out in the last year is going to come out in the last year. But we are a majority of the way through the era. And certain massive price tags are starting to be established on a lot of these, a lot of these Scarlet and Violet era cards, and it looks like a lot of them are gonna stay. Like Magikarp, we haven't even got the Magikarp. Magikarp's had a new all-time high, guys. Magikarp had a new all-time high. Just, in, I'm sure so many people were like, "Oh, when it hit 150, I go, oh, it's gonna go back down to like 70 eventually." No, it's above 150 now. Okay. All right. So, anyways, uh, the other Paldean Fates. You know, banger. This is an interesting thing we got going on right here. Because both these cards absolutely shot up. Quite a bit. Mew doubled. Charizard went up like 20%. So Mew took the lead. But now we got Charizard from Palais and Fates at a new $145 price point where it's actually sat at for a little while here. For a couple weeks. And it's, I mean, it's looking like it's kind of 
creating some stability up there too. And the Mew, you know, 183, you know, a lot of room to fall, but still trending slightly. I mean, even if it does fall, it has resistance at this 170 level. You know, it could tap 200 and then ping pong between 170 and 200 and then be be safe in trading in that 170 to 200 price range for the next year, you know? Um, it's just, the demand is there and people, I mean, obviously I love this car, it's about as derpy as it gets. Are you kidding me? All right, so yeah, Pelane Fates is already boy, 145, the other one, 180. All right, so Terrapagos, pronounced like Galapagos. Get it right, guys. I've said it a million times. Terrapagos. So Stellar Crown, this because of the $100 price tag, I don't necessarily think this, of all the cards on this list that are memorable, iconic for this era, I don't, this is one of the last of the 30 that I would put that way. One, because I think Stellar Crown will be way more remembered for the Bulbasaur and the Squirtle IR, um, not the Terrapagos. And two, um, uh, the, the new set coming out has this exact card, slightly different, and the Terrapagos is just pointed in the other direction. So we're now about to have two in-your-face colorful Terrapagos cards. Not a ton of Terrapagos card or fans to begin with. And yeah, so, but, you know, Squirtle and uh, Bulbasaur IRs for Stellar Crown. You know, I, I, we have Paradox Rift, where Groudon is the most, the chase card, even above Roaring Moon, which is like my favorite card of the entire era. Um, I could very, 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 very easily see a scenario a few months from now where Squirtle and Bulbasaur IR are both number one and two, even ahead of Terrapagos. Like, it, it, would anyone be surprised? If Terrapagos slowly falls all the way down to 60, and then Squirtle and Bulbasaur go up to like 70, or around that Groudon, you know, range. I'm just saying it's possible. Groudon, though, and Magikarp, again, much bigger sets, so the IRs are harder to pull, whereas Stellar Crown, smaller set. However, that desirability for Squirtle, for Bulbasaur, can make up for that easier pull rate. All right, so two... two uh, ancient Pokemon we're going to look at from Temporal Forces. Um, it's kind of the, whoever the poster child of this set has changed a little bit since the set came out, but it ha has absolutely, for the longest amount of time since the set has been released, it has been Raging Bolt. A lot of that is due to playability, but a lot of it is because people just can't get over how beautiful this artwork is. The amount of people who hate this Pokemon but love this card, there's just a lot, okay? And it's a fantastic card, and now... I did say over the majority of the set release, this card has been performing the best. It did not start that way, and over the last month, another car has, card has made some major, major moves, like almost for like two straight months, and that's Walking Wake. This card is now $60, up from, you know, 50 or so on the, on the one, you know, let, me, let me show you what I'm talking about, go way out here. So. Trading at 45 for the longest time, and then just in the last month and a half, it has shot all the way up to 60, and now it's bouncing around this 59, yeah, $60. Is that what's that? Yeah, $60 market price. Essentially, it's all-time high. Yeah, I mean, it's it's yeah, it's at its all-time high. So these two cards, as time goes on, are the two cards that are proving to be the most desirable from temporal forces. All right, we are more than halfway through, so we are definitely wrapping it up. Okay, so another Surging Sparks card. Now, this is a hunch for me. This is like, I'm having faith in this artwork, I'm having faith in this Pokemon, I'm having faith in the set. I am very positive about so many of these cards being the most FOMO, most desirable, most wanted, most popular cards right here and now. This card just came out, and it's not Pikachu. However, the way it's maintaining its $80 price point, the way it does, you know, go with the Phoebus, there's people before the set came out that literally thought this was going to be the chase card, not Pikachu. A lot of people thought that, actually. Um, I just have a feeling that this card is going to do a very good job holding its value in the $80 to $100 range. It's just a guess, but I think the type of art the way it's presented, the way it connects with a, a very nice looking IR. I think this SIR for that kind of, you know, not the crazy expensive, not Pikachu Greninja, not the next level, not Mew and Charizards and them, 
but like the next level down around the hundred dollar range for SIRs, I think this is a good shot to stay there. Absolutely. The Melodic, absolutely. I think this is a top 30 for sure. All right, let's go to another fish, Magikarp. So as I talked about, we are now at back two in all time high for Paldea of all the Magikarp. Let's just go all the way out. Remember, remember the, the good old days when all summer long, all winter long, January, this thing was 40, 45 bucks. No one was even talking about it. And then bang, 150. But guess what? Now we're at 154. So Magikarp IR, just another, another sign that IRs from bigger sets that are desirable have the potential to do exceptionally well and stay that way. Why do they stay that way? Because there's not near as many copies of them to go around. Crazy. We're at on Paradox Rift, the most underrated set of the entire Scarlet and Violet era, in my opinion. In my opinion, by far. Uh, Groudon. So, $65. This is probably a lot of people's favorite IR, not Magikarp. Um, but yeah, it's the second most valuable? Yeah, second. Is that why I put it number two? That makes sense. $64.65. It was at 52 a month ago. It is up 20% on the one-month chart. This is a card that feels like forever ago. I was telling y'all to buy it when it was 30 bucks. And that happened. Sheesh. But yeah, wow. So much power. So much power. And then fizzle. And then recovery. Like that is a grout on that. I oh, God, is this going to be a $100... Is this going to be... Is Paradox Rift going to make a massive comeback and make Pokey and E hundreds of thousands of dollars? Groudon's worth 120 bucks. The PSA 10 Groudon's going for 600 Everyone's losing their mind trying to rip open Paradox. I could see that. I could see that. The, the pull rates, you know, justify it. All right, so Eevee. Twilight Masquerade. So again, this is me telling you that these are the most popular IRs of the era. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm saying it's Magikarp, I'm saying it's Groudon, I'm saying it's Eevee, and then who else? I don't know, I'm saying someone else too. So $54, Eevee, Twilight Masquerade, zoom out. Came out of the gates, no, 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 no. There, it did not, did it, did it actually, did it actually start it? I, that had to be pre-market, yeah, come on. Because, yeah, we hit 60, and then we dropped all the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, okay, so look at this chart, and I want to show you guys something. When you see the, uh, let's look at some chart. Look at this chart right here. So, from left to right, the lows. The low is at 40, the, lo the low is at 44, the low is at 52. Now, this low is probably going to be 54. The point is, higher lows. Higher lows, consolidation, go up. I know these are Pokemon cards, this isn't stocks but a lot of people look at things that are similar in similar ways. <clears throat> okay, Squirtle, Squirtle. All right, so now let's get into the two Stella Crown IRs. So Stella Crown, first of all, and again, I'm just reminding you guys, not only is this the 30 most FOMO super popular cards of the year, but these, all these cards are actually doing really good on the week. So 38 was its low. We just tapped w over 50, $54 last week. Now it's consolidating around the 45, 47, and it's at 47 dollars and 34 cents. It's absolutely uptrending since release. 50 down, yep, yeah. Squirtle, the Squirtle looks good. Is, is anyone, everyone who has the Squirtle wants to hold on to it? Um, the first month, it took so long for me to find like Bulbasaur and Squirtle copies to like actually pick up. Uh, so Bulbasaur, here we go. Here's another one doing incredibly well. Hit the low of 30. But now it's at uh, 40, 45. Yeah, 44.50. So let's see if we go like this. So yeah, that's showing up 30% on the one month chart. Are we still in IRs? Okay, we got one more. Oh god, so many banger. So okay, yeah. So look at this. Tell me I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I would say these are the most popular IRs of the entire era starting right here. Magikarp, Groudon, Eevee, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Tyranitar. I guess I could throw Raichu in there too, but Raichu hasn't been doing that great lately. And then now, a new contender, Latios at 40. 
right at this around the same price as Titar. So Titar uh, went all the way back down to 25. That's crazy. Let me look at that. So wow, look at this. Look at this Titar graph. It's gonna go, be very wonky. All the way up to yeah to 45. All the way back down to 30, and now it's all the way back up to 40, 45 or 44. But yeah, so. I, I see this just flatlining around the 40. Um, you already got so many other desirable cards. I mean, not so many, but like the Magic Carb, I, I could see Iono starting to finally heal a little. I think Iono's still only 60 bucks. But uh, yeah, this, yeah, 40 bucks for not even the best, but the second best IR from a set. That's that's pretty, and that is a that is a that that artwork just goes hard. I'll just leave it at that. All right, then, as you saw, Latios. So there you go. There's, like, your absolute... I keep missing. Your absolute most popular IRs. Magikarp, Groudon, Eevee, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Titar, and Latios. I think those are, like, the top seven or whatever. All right, what do we got next? Oh, promos. All right, so Pikachu with Grayfell Hout. Seemed like just yesterday his card was still $92. Pretty much. And it's uh, up... Sheesh. 176 stupid card. I hate this card. $176. 24 cents. One hundred wait one six, 177. Sorry. So Great Fell Hat Pikachu. That is a massive increase on the one month chart of 50%. Let's get the one year, because this is interesting. So you see, I mean after all the craziness, like right after release, because yeah, we're like a little over a year after because it released like 13 or 14 months ago. So yeah, started to come down around there, all the way down 80, for the longest, all this year, all this year, 80, 90, who cares, everyone forgot about it, and then here we are, the boom, and then what happens during a boom, the most popular cards explode, so there you go, most popular card, explode, it is, it is, we're in a boom, we are absolutely in a boom, alright, the Pokemon, this is like the, you know, the biggest success story of the era, the, the Pokemon Center, uh, ETBs and their promos, their exclusive stamped promos. These are the most desirable of them. Snorlax is now $100 raw. We're not even going to talk about the PSA 10 prices, just times all these by like 10. Almost literally, okay? I, I should probably, I shouldn't say that. I don't, I don't think the, the Snorlax sold for a thousand, but now we won't look it up point is i can tell you the pikachu just sold for 400 the paldea of all pikachu last night for 400 and like ten dollars uh yeah so squirtle this is the upc the 151 pre-release you reserved it you got the squirtle promo on the side in your box with your 151 upc it's uh pretty much done very well ever since it came out uh right around that 70 80 right now it is up to 90 and you can see right here just on the one month it was down I mean, let's zoom out just a little yeah so 70 that was it's low so on the one month was essentially it's low and now it's high right here from 72 to 87 this thing started moving again like it woke up right around the time uh the snorlax passed it up like as soon as the snorlax passed it up at that 80 dollar mark it started to go up a little a couple weeks ago uh, Charmander, speaking of a couple weeks ago, holy moly, it's good. another one that just absolutely doubled in price. So, whew, a couple weeks, you know, 60 to 80, uh, well, 68 to 80 on the one month, on the three month, 40 to 80, and there you go. So on the six month chart, that's a 4x, it's up 280 three percent on the six month chart from twenty dollars all the way up to eighty dollars charmander obsidian flames pc to be stamp promo all right we're we we whew. here we go and this one's much more recent because this was a thirty dollar card for quite a while until recently and it's now a sixty dollar card i thought that's even more than i thought i thought it was only like 55 or 56 all right so here's your six months chart there's your little 15 Fifteen dollars, dude. Wow, that's where we were at with things only six months ago. Is now it's like everyone's thinking PC. Like it was so obvious. It's Pikachu. It's the starters. It's Paldea. It's the stamp promo. 
Oh man, I feel like everyone should have just known to be buying this thing up at $15. Like, look at that. So much opportunity to get this under 20. It wasn't until June. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. That is kind of crazy. I own four of these. <laughs> Two of them were pain in the ass to get. Literally, I, I had four PC ETBs. Open up all four of them. Two of them didn't even have stamp promos. All right, so guess what? Now we're at the waifus. We're at waifus, and I'm going to recap, because I, I do believe in this list. So the two waifus, I think, as of right now, at least, will be the most, if any. Or I mean, waifus are down so bad. But if any of the waifus are going to get, uh, you know, be remembered, I think it's Carmine, who's currently sitting at $71. I think she's done a great job of holding her value. Well, that doesn't look like it. But I mean, it's because she wasn't she wasn't really over a hundred for that long. She fell down to eighty pretty quick. Yeah, July, like a month and a half after release, she fell down to eighty, and here she is at seventy-one. Yeah, because she was way overhyped at first, for sure. But yeah, I think seventy-five to ninety is probably going to be a good trade range for her. It's a very desirable card. People love this card. It is what it is. And then this one, the sea is appeal. Why did I choose this as the other potentially most memorable waifu card? Because it's the only SIR I pulled from Surging Sparks, and I've opened 260 packs and spent almost night. <clears throat> so I need this card to 10x in value ASAP. Just kidding. I do really like this card, and I think it has... Yeah, started, it's at 67. We'll see what happens. This is so brand new. This is also a hunch. Yeah, this is definitely a hunch, too. But I think it's a good, it's a very popular supporter. Yeah, I think Carmine and Lucia, the way they look, the way they came out, the price this is associated with them, the sets that they're in, like these are, like let's say you're opening Twilight Masquerade or Surging Sparks and you don't pull Greninja or Pikachu, are you actually gonna be that mad if you pull Carmine or Lucia's appeal? I would hope not. Sheesh. I actually really like both these cards a lot. All right, so the final card, I had to get a Hyper Rare in there. We already talked about it at the beginning, and then we'll just right on through. So this Hyper Rare is so popular that it's literally $130, and of course, it's this one, as I brought up. I'm just being honest, from various card shops I've been at, um, card shop owners, people who have pulled it, for whatever reason, they struck gold <laughs> with this artwork and uh, gold card. People absolutely love this Hyper Rare. And what gives me so much confidence in this Hyper Rare is that the pull rates absolutely back it up. It is an incredibly beautiful consolation prize to the SIR, and it's technically... I don't know if it's uh, the Hyper Rares extrapolate to being more difficult to pull on the specific scale, but of course, in general, Hyper Rares are harder to pull. They're almost twice as hard to pull a Hyper Rare than an SIR. It gets a little conflated once you're like, okay, but there's 15 SIRs, there's only six hyper rares, so when you do the math, you know, to pull a specific SIR, it could absolutely be more difficult than to specifically pull this Pikachu. Um, but on surface level, these hyper rares are very hard to pull, and there is, I believe, six of them, which is way better than three from a lot of these smaller sets. Uh, yeah, so I think this, this hyper rare is the hyper rare of the entire era. I, I'm, I feel, unless some crazy hyper rare, like they put a lot of effort into another one in an upcoming set, I think if there is one hyper rare, one gold card from this entire era that will hold value, that will be extremely desirable, uh, you know, you're looking at it. So, yeah, there it is. All right, so again, tell me if I'm wrong, tell me if I'm right. This right here, these 30 cards, let's click through it. The five altars, Umbreon. Raquaza, Tina. Get, you know what I should have put on here is the brand new Magneton promo. I absolutely should have put the brand new Magneton because it's already $40 market value. Uh, it's Shinji Konda. Yeah, let's just pretend I threw that Magneton in the PC promo section. But yeah, these cards, Latios, Greninja, Chonky Boy, Sunzard, Bubble Mew, Palan Fates, Tropagos, Galapagos, Raging Bolt, Walking Wake, Melodic, Magikarp, Groudon, Eevee, Squirtle, 
Bulbasaur, Titar, Latios, Greyfelt Stupid Hat Pikachu, Snorlax PC Promo, Squirtle PC Promo, Charmander PC Promo, Pikachu PC Promo, Carmine, Lucia's Appeal, and the Hyper Rare Pikachu EX. Whew. All right, there it is. All right. And I promised you guys this was going to be live, uncut, blah, blah, blah. Now, as I hinted at earlier, I have spent approximately $900. I have opened two booster boxes, three booster bundles, ten three-pack blisters. Uh, God, what else? Uh, fuck, a million sleeve blisters. I've sniped and hunted two booster boxes at two different shops, thinking they were hot because I knew nobody pulled an SIR yet. I've traded in an armored Mewtwo for $100 credit just so I didn't have to pay another $100. I have been the most degenerate human being. I got back into Cosmic Eclipse. I, this is by far the most degenerate FOMOing I have ever done. And the fact that I'm 250 packs in, how do, you, how do the girls on Instagram do it? They're like, hey, oh, <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, it would only be justice if I finally... Enriching energy? Do I have that? All right, I got enriching energy. I think I already have that. Oh! Are you kidding me? I just pulled, that's a, I just pulled, <laughs> I did literally, live on camera, first pack. Look at this, I don't care if it's the cheapest SIR. I literally was just telling you guys, I've opened 260 packs and pulled one SIR. Are you freak, and it was behind this. What the hell are the chance? Bro! It's that easy. I just gotta open all my packs on camera. There it is, boys. SIR number two. It only took me 261 packs. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I actually pulled this in my first pack after four straight days of misery. Yes, I know it's worth 20 bucks. I don't... You don't understand how bad... Uh, like, comment, subscribe, deuces! Just kidding, I'm gonna open the other two packs. What if I pull, what if I went three for three? I told the guy, I said, guy, look, I'm gonna buy three blister packs, you got three prongs. Randomly pick me three packs, one from each prong, okay? He pulled me our Chaladon EX SIR on YouTube, on YouTube, unedited, with a, with the A spec. All right, here we go. Here it is. Three of the lucky. Can you? There's no way. Can you get? You guys know I'm not fucking with you, right? Okay. Oh Jesus! I hate how people open like this. Oh, oh man. I don't care. Yeah, go like that. I cannot believe I pulled a SIR. Shrika, alright. Surfer? I won millionth surfer. Wait. Oh my god. I actually need that too. These are my three luckiest packs. What? I need this for the master set. Trust me, I've pulled everything except for the expensive cards. This was the only EX I hadn't pulled yet. What is happening? I, I think that might be the only A spec I needed to. Pikachu SIR right here. Watch, this would be the gold Pikachu. That would be just poetic. That would be just injustice. That wouldn't even be justice. That would be so ridiculous if I actually pulled the hyper rare Pikachu right here after talking it up. That I can't believe I pulled our Shallot on SIR on the first freaking pet. Guys, I ripped open all. Four. You know that video I made, my last video? I, I opened the PC, I, I chose it, I was like, you're the chosen one. I opened all of them. All of them. No SIR. As it is. Duh. As I already said. 
Here, I'm gonna skip a couple. I'm just gonna skip a couple. All right, here we go, here we go. Last pack. Quaxley. Ezemaril. Gravity Mountain. You can see my bald head above the cards, and that's it. There you go. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, I need this IR, or Mesprit. Another SIR, two for three. All right, fine. That, that's what I'm used to. That's what I'm used to, and there it is. Well, not going to lie. Where'd my Duraludon go? Like, comment, subscribe. Don't be like me. Spend two or three hundred bucks. Wait two weeks. Buy singles. I spent way too much money. That usually doesn't happen. Like, comment, subscribe. Deuces.